Dara, your first uh, memory of Tarbert GA Club? Uh, first memory, I suppose, would be uh, under 10s and under 12s. I remember one game against um, Benny Longford where I think it was North Carolina League, North Carolina Championship, where I went to three games. So, um, first game here in Tarbert, went to a replay. Then back to Benny Longford, and they got a point, I think, in the last kick of the game. So, back to Tarbert again. There was a fierce crowd at the game, so it was a very big, very big occasion for us because we were only you know, very young at the time. But um, we beat them. I don't know what the score was in the end now. We beat them. And, you know, that was a great memory, all right, with lads that we were growing up with, and it was great to win. That obviously started your, your love of the club and your love of playing football. What has Tarbert GA Club come to mean to you throughout your life so far? Well, exactly, yeah, I suppose I played the whole way up from under 12s all the way up to seniors now, and, you know, it's always in the back of your mind, you know, you'd be training maybe two or three times a week, you know, a game, you know, every second weekend, if not every weekend, a lot of times, you know, so it does mean, it does mean a lot to you, and it's a lot of pride in yourself, too, with your, your club and the lads you grew up with, and it does mean a lot to me, all right. Your greatest day so far in, in Tarbert history, as from a personal point of view? Um, I suppose the greatest day last year, I suppose the year before, we, um, we got to Division 1. So in order to get to Division 1, we had to play, play off against Dingle and back to Connolly Park in Chile. So it was a real, real battle, like it was a very low scoring game. And we beat Dingle, and it was great because the year before, we were just pipped to go up. So it meant a lot that we actually got up that year as well. So it was that game against... Um, Against Dingle. Dingle to and you would have went into that match as underdogs. You had like Dermot Murphy and Tommy Griffin, two superstars of Kerry football on the other team. That's right, yeah, definitely. Going in that day, we felt, you know, it was going to be very tough. But um, yeah, we just grinded out the victory and it was, it was great to get up there and go up to Division 1 then to play against, you know, we played against all the best teams in Kerry, a lot of the best players we played against. So it was great to get up there. Yes, sure. And you were there at the start off of that, Dara, when you started off in Division 4. It was a huge effort from the players to go from 4 up to 1. It was all right, yeah, there was a lot. I suppose you need a big panel for that as well. So we went through, I think, about 30, 30 odd players going from 4 all the way up. So we went from 4 to 3 and went up to 2. We spent two years then there and went straight up to, to, to um, 1 then. So it was um, a great achievement, all right, to get up there. Now, how do you feel the future of the club is looking? What do you think it'll be like in the next 5 or 10 years? Um, I feel, you know, even last week, you know, the juniors were after winning the, the local league here. So I feel the, you know, the club is very strong. There seems to be teams all the way up, strong teams all the way up. They have 15 aside and a lot of them now again, which is going up a few years ago, they were down to 13 and that. So I feel that's a big, big achievement as well. So once they can keep, keep the numbers, I feel the club will be very strong. Finally, Dara, you're now the, the club captain. First season in the skipper, that's right. skipper of the crew. How, how does that make you feel? And was it was it an honour to be asked in the first place? I was a great sense of pride, all right, you know, because as I say, a lot of lads I'm playing with, I grew up with, and all the way along. So when I was asked, I was delighted with the opportunity, all right. Um, we're going okay so far now. We were knocked out of the county junior, all right, which would have been our big game for the year. But um, we're in the North Korea League final now. We've um, in the county league now. We're four games down. We don't we don't okay. And we have the Narcare Championship coming up at the end of the year as well. So, yeah, I'm delighted things are going okay so far. Anyway. And the spirit is good among the group of players? The spirit is good, yeah. We've got a few players back now. A few retired, a few left, but we've got a few players in as well, which is great. And it's always good to keep a bit of, um, you know, involved in the whole time. So it was great to change the round. So looking forward overall to the next couple of years on the playing fields? Yeah, definitely. Look ahead, you know. Obviously, the County June would be a great aim for any club in Kerry. You can see the likes of Castle Gregory, Skagger Anders, you know, to go on to win. You know, the aim the Crow Park is there, you know, it's a great... It was always in the back of your mind that you would go on and win it. So um, it would be great to keep, to keep the numbers going and keep the momentum going as well for the next few years. In great. fairness, they've been fantastic competitions, haven't they? The county junior, the county intermediate. They've brought a new dimension to club football. Definitely to club football, yeah. Since Sean Kelly introduced it, I suppose, to go to Cork Park, it really, I know it was only the county before, so it really has because we've had the opportunity to play in Cork Park, which many club players will never get. So it was, was a great incentive I to go. I, I suppose on the flip side of that, the, prob the hardest thing is to win the Kerry one. That's it, yeah. You know, once you can see teams when you get out of Kerry, you know, they've, they've steamrolled to the All-Ireland, you know, and maybe the All-Ireland final right, would be the toughest, but out of Kerry, you know, is the hardest part. You know, they, anything after that, then they, they win fairly handy. So it is, Kerry is the main thing, all right. So we were unfortunately, St. Pat's of Blinwood beat us this year, all right. We beat my van the first round and beat by St. Pat's then. But um, yeah, look, we just have to get on with it, you know, you can't, can't dwell on it too long and move on. Excellent. Thanks very much, Dara. Thanks, Dan. Cheers.